the Boeing 777 is full of sophisticated gadgets that should constantly tell the world where it is. Now, satellites track the aircraft's location and then something called a transponder on the plane passes on that data to stations on the ground. This tracking from Flight Radar 24 seems to show the last time that transponder was heard. Interestingly, look at the other aircraft that are around. They would normally be keeping an ear on the emergency radio channel. No one heard anything. Finally, the signal goes. Now that does not mean the aircraft crashed in this area. It may have simply dropped out of range or the transponder may have stopped or it may have been switched off, although there is a backup. Transponders can fail, but it's much harder to hide from traditional radar. Malaysian military radar tracked an unidentified aircraft hundreds of miles off course, but they don't know if it was the Malaysia Airlines flight. So what about the air traffic controllers? What would they have seen? Well, the UK service has mocked up an emergency for the BBC. We would expect the aircraft to squawk emergency, which means that the indication to the controller is SOS. And again, the flashing data block draws the controller's eye to it. In this particular aircraft, we're demonstrating what it might look like in a hijack situation. HJK means hijack to the controller, and the flashing data block draws the controller's attention to it. In the event that there were a catastrophic failure of an aircraft and it broke up in midair, um, we would still expect to see something on radar. There would be a trace, it might well look like this, which is a basic radar plot. Now you've probably heard lots about the black box. It's in the tail because that's normally furthest from any impact. And it's not black, it's orange, so you can find it. They can withstand explosions, fires, even years at the bottom of the sea. And they are critical because they reveal what the aircraft was doing and what the crew were saying. The box pings out a signal, but the battery only lasts about a month. And the aircraft will also be fitted with an emergency distress beacon. Finally, modern airliners constantly send out bursts of real-time technical data to the people that make and run the aircraft. It helps with maintenance. Rolls-Royce monitors all of its Trent engines from a 24-hour centre in Derby. It's been reported they got some basic data back from this flight, but it's not yet clear if it's yielded any clues. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of confusion, and an aircraft that seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth.